Hi, I'm Sue and I'm a paper crafting expert. Today, I'm going to show you some essential craft supplies that you'll need to create your handmade cards. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to the Hobbycraft channel and press the bell icon for notifications of future videos. No craft space would be complete without a self-healing cutting mat. These are available in various sizes and have measurements along the top and side so you can ensure everything is cut precisely. The mat will also ensure your work surface stays protected from any inks or heat when using a heat tool. It goes without saying a ruler is an essential when it comes to any type of crafting. But where precision is key, it's worth investing in something a little more substantial that will withstand the wear and tear of repetitive use. When cutting out intricate designs, or if you need to trim anything away in a tight spot that scissors can't quite get into, a craft knife is a must. Remember to always cut away from you, keeping fingers clear from the blade where possible, as these are incredibly sharp. Blades on craft knives can easily be replaced when the blade you are using becomes blunt. For quick easy cards and super straight edges, a paper trimmer is a must. They're available in an array of sizes. Some trimmers have additional blades that can allow you to carry out other tasks, such as scoring, which is ideal for making your own card blanks. This small but mighty tool punches single holes in a variety of materials anywhere. There are three interchangeable tips stored in the handle of this punch so you can create a variety of sizes depending on your needs. Having a dedicated, sharp quality pair of general purpose scissors just for your paper crafts is a must. If you want to create a card blank and envelope from scratch, paper creases will ensure crisp folds every time. If you want to add soft curved edges to your card blanks or matted layers, a corner punch is a quick and easy way to do this. Craft punches are also available in lots of other shapes and sizes and are ideal for creating embellishments for your cards. When it comes to stocking up on your adhesives, it's worth investing in a few different types and experimenting to see which ones work best for you and the projects you'll be creating. I'd recommend double-sided tape, ideal for securing all manner of cards and paper stock, and it's completely mess-free. If you want to add height and dimension to your card designs, foam pads are a must. The super sticky little dots are ideal for securing embellishments in place, and like double-sided tape, they're mess-free with no drying time needed. If you want to secure fabric or large heavy toppers to your cards, tacky glue is perfect. Make sure to apply this adhesive sparingly to avoid paper and card warping and invest in a glue that dries clear. These are ideal for securing the most intricate of die cuts and embellishments. These fine tip pens are ideal for adding doodles or handwritten messages to your cards. Thank you for joining me for this video. If you'd like some more card making inspiration, head over to hobbycraft.co.uk forward slash ideas. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a thumbs up and a comment below. We'd love to hear from you. See you for more videos soon.